which you uh, put you on the cover about two years ago yeah. for your boxing film. It's good stuff. Good stuff. Mike Southpaw. Like Southpaw, exactly. Uh, yes, Mike Melindy with Rolling Out. So first of all, gentlemen, how are you doing? Good, man. Good, good. It's always good to sit down with you guys. You know, one thing I really loved about this film is that it took on an element that felt really true to reality. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things that it dealt with is snitching. Mm -hmm. So I'm just curious if there is ever a time when you feel like it's permissible or okay to snitch to the police. Well, I, I think, um, no. <laughs> I think if, they, if you involve yourself in that lifestyle, that you should actually stick to the you know lifestyle and, and to that rule. The rules are how you do things, the engagement. What happens with O'Shea's character, Donnie, in the actual film, I actually looked at that character like I would have played it because he has an interesting twist and plot at the end, and I didn't want to do it because of that. Wow. I didn't want to do that. Wow. That's, that's, the, that's loyal. You're loyal to, to the culture. How about you? Is there ever a moment you feel like it's okay to talk to the police, maybe if your family's life's at the stake or, or just... Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> if people's lives are at stake, then I would talk to the police. Like, <laughs> then if I don't, somebody dies, I'm responsible. So, I mean, it depends, but there's, there's honor among thieves. So if you're talking about um, if I was a thief, then maybe I would look at it differently. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't call it snitching if I see that somebody's about to break the law and do something It's, hard, it's culturally different, too. <laughs> it's, it's the same separation from the environments and how you've grown, right, how you've right, grown, been right. brought up. Because like it's almost like, you know, usually in, in any inner cities, the low-income environments, they, they'll teach you to mind your business. Because it'll, it'll bring you more than you actually want. Absolutely, for sure. You know, another thing I love about this film is that it has dealt so much with, with huge guns. What was it like training and getting the, the first-hand experience with these, you know, these guns? Oh, it, it was, the, the what's the name, the saw and stuff like that, really big gun he put on a, on a on the hood of the car. Mm -hmm. It was written originally that I actually got out the car with that, that gun. Wow. And then uh, Pablo ended up doing it because... Uh, that bloody Pablo. Yeah. Because I'm like this. <laughs> I'm fine with stuff. it. Because the way we did, the way we, we built the project, like there's a lot of lines that, that Pablo said that was were actually my lines. Mm. But what I did was <laughs> physical action. I'm, I'm, I'm doing things that make people not necessarily care about delivering information, but performing right. in an actual project. And this is what makes it, cool. when you were saying earlier about, about Ensign not speaking as much, because he knows, if you know the person and you've worked together for so much, then what are you talking about? You're yeah. already a given. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah true. Yeah. So, Gerard, I mean, talk a little bit about just, you know, you're working with 50 quite a bit. You're working with, with you know, people, you're working with black folks, and you know, people are probably recognize you out in the streets a little bit, so what has been the experience like working with people like 50 Cent, you know, just working with the culture, per se? I, I love it, I mean, and, and a lot of my most successful movies have been, as you say, working with black folks, uh -huh. like working with Jamie Foxx, <laughs> working with Morgan Freeman, um, you know, and, and Law Abiding Citizen to this day stays one dope. of my most favorite movies, you know, yeah. and, and most people that come up to me like to say, I love your movies, man, or black people. You go, yo, <laughs> right. you know, 350. <laughs> and I've been in movie like a lot of my favorite moments. Like there was a moment in Law Abiding Citizen that I created when the judge's head blows up. Yes. And I put that in the movie. And I remember sitting and there was a black couple next to me. And when that happened, they went, <clears throat> and the two of them went, <laughs> <laughs> and they stayed like that for 15 minutes. Wow. And I go, this is why I make movies, right. for that reaction, you know, to go. And and um, so, anyway, but and we had a really diverse cast in this, so between 50 and O'Shea and Mo McRae, who was one of my boys, who's one of the most sound dudes on the planet. Like, I love this guy. Mm. And um, it was all, I mean, it's, it's been a, it's always a great experience for me. Yeah, Absolutely. Well, you know, we love your work. We look forward to more of it. So keep making it, we'll keep watching. Right. Thanks, gentlemen. Yeah. yeah.